What is up guys, Harris Autographs, back here with a TTM recap for Saturday the 27th. I got in 10 TTMs in, including one really awesome one with a lot of extra autographs. So I'll show all these off. A lot of these are going to be from my clear set, and a couple of football ones are also going to be in there. So let's get started. So first up, for my 91 clear set, as well as my Houston Astros PC... Signing two of two in the nine days. This is Xavier Hernandez. Nice autograph. I don't believe he had a particularly long career. He's coaching somewhere in, at college in Texas now, so happy to add him. And then next up, signing three of three. And also nine days. Former pitcher for the Padres, Mr. Derek Lilliquist. Signing a black sharp right there on the 91 score, the 91 tops, and a 91 clear for my set. And then these next couple are going to be some vintage successes. This first one is signing two of two in nine days as well. A lot of these are going to be nine days because I sent out a bunch of them nine days ago. Signing two of two with a Cy Young 67 inscription. Jim Longboard. Really happy to add those, especially with the inscription, which is just sweet. Really like that card. This is from 66, and this one is a 69, I believe. So awesome to get those back. And this next one is a Football Hall of Famer. This one costs $15 to get, but pretty good to get one of the oldest living Hall of Famers. This is Hugh McElhinney. Signed one of one with the Hall of Fame 70 inscription. I thought he was only $10 when I bought the card. Then I saw somewhere online post that he actually charged a little bit more than that. But I figured might as well just go ahead and pay 15 just to be sure. I really enjoyed getting some of these vintage cards signed. I'm probably going to buy another lot of these and try to sell out some more in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. And next up, signing... 4 of 2. This is the 1963 American League Rookie of the Year. Mr. Gary Peters. Signed these two nicely. This is the All-Star Rookie card. And he also inscribed 63 AL Rookie of the Year on the note card. And signed one of them as well. So thank you, Mr. Peters. Awesome success. And then next up, signing three of three. Coming back from former Blue Jay, Jim Aker. Kind of like his signature. It's got the uh, K coming into the R at the top, and the J sort of looks like a symbol kind of instead of the word Jim. I think it's kind of neat. Signed out for my set. Also sent two more off. So awesome to get that. Next up. Signing two of two. This is a former multi-time all-star who has been signing pretty consistently in the mail recently. Charles Nagy. Signed the 91 Donruss and the 92 score. So it's pretty awesome to get that back from a pretty good MLB player. Next up, signing five of five. Another former Red Sox. Had a pretty solid career with a few teams. This is Mike Smithson. Really good signature right there. Happy to add a couple of him to my collection. Got my couple of twins as well. So thank you, Mr. Smithson, for that. Next up, we got one of one. I've heard some people say this guy charges. I didn't send anything. I still got this one back in nine days. Jim O'Brien. He is known for hitting a game-winning field goal in Super Bowl V. He did not have a very long career after that. But he will be immortalized in football history for hitting that big kick. So thank you, Mr. O'Brien. And then next up, one of the definitely one of the coolest successes I've gotten back in a while. I sent two cards to this guy for my Astros PC. 
and I knew it was him when I got back because he had a, a sticker with his, like his name and address on the back, along with he wrote Trump 2020 under it, which he's been known to do a little bit. So I sent out to a George Culver. He signed this card with the uh, 1970 through 72 inscription on there, which is nice. And he signed this Reds card with a uh, no hitter inscription, which he pitched on July 29th, 1968. Not only that, but he also signed the two index cards I sent with the same inscription. So that's four autographs, autographs from him right there. Plus, he also sent five pictures signed. There's a uh, blown up of his uh, 73 right there. A, uh, there's a Dodgers one. Not sure what team this is, but sure what team you played for in uh, 1970. There's a blown up version of one of his Astros cards and a uh, Indians picture. So, huge thank you to Mr. Culver. That's awesome. I was not expecting that. Sorry about that. Yeah, when I got the package back, I was kind of confused for a second because I don't, I didn't remember sending that much stuff and it was kind of hard to open since it was absolutely filled to the brim with different autographs. I usually send in envelopes that are this size right here pretty small they can't even fit a four by six in here so these were really tightly packed in here it was a little hard to open at first but definitely worth it so huge thank you to mr culver really awesome success to get back from him so thank you guys for watching hopefully i'll have some more stuff sent out i'll have some more stuff coming back in real soon peace out